دائما قل الحمد لله الحمد لله على كل صغيرة وكبيرة والحمد لله على كل خير نحن فيه والحمد لله على حياة يدبرها الله بلطفه الحمد لله دائما وأبدا Hi guys, welcome back. It is 4.04 in the morning. I have about an hour until Fajid. I'm gonna try to chug all of this water because I have not been good about my water. And I have about a little under 24, I have 22 hours until my flight to Minneapolis where I'm gonna spend most of the rest of Ramadan, inshallah. I'm just trying to organize everything so I can leave as much here as possible because I know when I go back to Minneapolis, I'm just gonna be in PJs the entire time. So truthfully, I feel like I just like fumbled into Ramadan. Like it just, I was really excited for it, but it just came and the first week I wasn't fasting. So I didn't feel it as much, which, you know, still khair alhamdulillah, but I didn't really feel it as much. And then it was just, you know, iftar and then so, so many things, so many things happening. You know, it's interesting because this isn't the first time I've spent Ramadan in a Muslim country. Like I fasted a couple years in Cairo, I fasted in Sudan before, but I don't know. I feel like being here is so busy. You know, like you definitely feel that Ramadan vibes in a good way, don't get me wrong but there's so much going on and I'm not used to it and I don't do well. <laughs> I don't do well with a lot going on. I do Ramadan well around just a little bit of family because I feel like I need a lot of time. It's a, it's a month, to, it's, it's the month of the Quran, you know, like it's a month where you really need to, you want to take advantage of it. And don't get me wrong, like being in community and, and being around other Muslims is a form of worship in itself but um, I'm not good at it <laughs> because I don't know how to balance my life. Like I know I have the discipline somewhere in me, <laughs> but I'm not doing a good job currently, like right now. So I'm gonna go spend the rest of Ramadan at home. It's 10 days in, I think, 10 days in right now. And alhamdulillah, but um, let's run it back. <laughs> I have my trusty iPad with my Ramadan goals that I need to um, refine because I would rather achieve what is possible and sustainable than try to achieve everything. But alhamdulillah, for everything, always. But at the same time, have like a little bit more discipline. What else, what else? I had a big hair day the other day, which took up all of my energy, like all of the energy that I had in that day. And I was fighting for my life, trying not to faint in the shower. I'm really in my DIY era. Like I've been loving DIY hair care and body care and skin care even though I go back and forth. I go back and forth because part of me is like, leave it to the professionals. But then the other part of me is like, eh, I can do this. I can do this. I know what works for me. I'm just gonna make my own concoction. I think I'm a scientist. But aside from that, it's been very busy. My social battery is 
about here. I went to my first like influencer event in like years the other day. I forgot how bad I am at it. Like I immediately just got tea and like hid in one of the rooms. And I think I need to learn to not do that. Like if I'm gonna go, I need to go with my chest. You know, I still get caught off guard when people speak to me in Arabic here because it's not like my first, like I assume, I don't know. I like it, it's nice, but I need to rewire my brain. Even though I already started to rewire my brain. Like um, the other day I was in an elevator and usually men don't get in elevators with me here and I love it. But uh, the area I'm in has quite a bit of janet foreigners, uh, immigrants. But I was waiting for the elevator and then this European guy comes and he gets into the elevator with me and I'm like what are you doing how dare you get into the elevator with me because I'm used to men just waiting for the next elevator but then I realized خلاص, like my brain is starting to rewire because I thought that was strange what other ram I shouldn't ramble I should go make coffee suhoor suhoor I should go make suhoor I have 22 hours until my flight many things to do yalla bismillah but there's a second beautiful meaning to this name, and that is the one who fixes our brokenness. Because when you have a bone that's broken, what must be done? You have to compel the bones back together. And so a splint in Arabic is called a jabira because it, it serves that function of compelling the bones back together. And so you fix our brokenness by compelling our pieces back together. And so when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a jabbar, it means he's the one who fixes. He's the one who fixes our brokenness. Ya Jabbar, fix my broken faith, fix my broken body, fix my broken relationships. To see his companions being tortured, his loved ones after being rejected and bought. Medina was always there asking Allah for what's good in the act, where you demand not only the ending that you want, but also the means that you want to get. Instead, pay closer attention. This mask looks a little bit creepy. Nothing makes me feel more mixed emotions than being in my childhood bedroom. But right now, I just feel tiredness, <laughs> sleepiness. I have no idea what time of day it is. But I'm happy to be home and will probably be hiding in my room for the rest of Ramadan. Also, I think there's supposed to be a snowstorm tomorrow, which I forgot about snow. Do you guys hear that? That was my mom making me a date smoothie. For Suhoor. I'm so happy to be home. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> I'm happy to have a bit of a reset to focus and inshallah have a good finish Ramadan stronger than I started it. Inshallah. That's the goal. This, um, yeah, that's it. I don't have anything to say right now. Also, this mask has been on way too long and I want to have that date shake.